how is Google from a search engine optimization algorithm and a content point of view differentiating AI content from non-AI content and therefore stopping people from just pumping out loads of stuff? And the way they've, they've done it is using EAT before. So E-E-A-T. So it's the whole expertise, experience, authoritative business, and trust. Authoritative business? <laughs> uh, I got, Easy I'd for be, you to say. Yeah, well, it apparently wasn't. <laughs> so the, the, the EAT factors. And it's like, well, how do you demonstrate experience and expertise? How do you demonstrate your authority and your trust? Well, there's some obvious ways and there's some non-obvious ways. So I wanted to test some of these out in a few articles we wrote. It's had a really significant impact on search traffic and made a bit of a leap for us. So obvious things, the authority, well, if you've got someone that's written an article linking through to their bio, so this is the author of this article, here's their bio, here's the other stuff they've done. Bear in mind that Google works in entities. So the whole knowledge graph piece that came out a good number of years ago knows that Daniel Rolls is a person, Target Internet is a company, the Digital Marketing Podcast is a podcast, but it will know those things are connected with that mm. kind of knowledge graph. So by linking that I'm the author of an article and through to my bio and what I do at Imperial College and the books that I've written, it gives it a bit more authority. Okay, So, so you can do those you, kind of things. Like in the experiment, how did you do that? So that that's something we, we did in a very small scale. The other stuff that we've done, which is stuff that I was really impressed with, is that, is, okay, what they're looking for is not you saying this is how you should do it, but this is how we did it, right? So it's that examples right, of that's my experience. I can demonstrate a case study or an example. Right. So actually taking something, adding stories, case studies, videos, all those kind of things. It's a lot harder to write something that's got four videos intermingled into it, a podcast so, and all that kind of stuff because yeah. it demonstrates a lot more expertise and authority potentially so this is a lot more than just having the author tag like yeah. the, that, that have... might help a bit yeah and that's certainly going to help a bit yeah but only if that author's done some other things and yeah. it's kind of an entity that google is aware of so we're not saying that we need to have author tags on every single blog or content piece that we do it's not no, about well I, I would suggest that it's probably not a bad thing to say who wrote the article if it was someone from the organization that did it if they have some expertise demonstrate that but it's actually more about writing stuff that gives examples and case studies and deeper insights and those things. So you can demonstrate those things. Mm -hmm. So I would go through, you know, put in narrative. Here is an example of, mm. here is a case study of, here's a, a video about this particular topic. Mm -hmm. Link through to other things you've written on the topic. So doing those kind of hub mm. pages that link off to mm. other pages, all those kind of things. So by doing that, you're demonstrating. And stories and narrative work from a human point of view always have. Mm -hmm it's really showing you know what you're, you're kind of talking about from this point of view. So it's different perspectives on it as well.